Okay, um, I'm reviewing this bag today. Uh, yeah, Shadow's bad. Uh, I'm sorry about the lighting and everything. I'm not used to this. This is not really my thing. I don't usually do video reviews. But just seeing this in text and pictures, I don't think it's going to do it justice. Um, you see here the profile of the bag is fairly thin. Um, angle a little bit. Um, so basically the bag is quite, can fit quite a lot. Um, and I'll show in a second how much I have in here. Uh, it can fit quite a lot for the size. Uh, it has this little handle here. I do not have the shoulder strap on it right now. I will show you where I have that. Um, it, has, it was branded here, which is nice. Um, uh, the, the bottom is just all the same. It doesn't really have any like extra padding or anything. So do keep that in mind. I don't feel like this is one of those kind of bags that you're going to rough up and throw around. Uh, let me show you, for instance, here. I have uh, my messenger bag here, just completely unrelated. But um, I could have used something like this. You know, it's much bigger and everything, but this isn't like meant for that. It's a little bigger and a little more rough. So you can see this is meant for more like you know, dead day to day use. I actually, haven't used as much tag still on it. Um, I didn't buy that for that. I bought it from, for the laptop. So, but anyway, I'm just showing you as an example. You know, this is kind of. You know, it's, it's, that's what they call it, a messenger bag for this for the Nintendo. Now, the I've seen other other cases for the Switch. They're usually black and much smaller. Um, it usually just holds, you know, a few things. So in here, I pretty much have everything I need. The only thing that's not in here is the HDMI cable. That's hooked up. I'm not going to take it out of the TV. But... So let me just show you quickly on the back. Uh, there is this little zipper here. And in here, I only have the charger right now. This is the wall charger. I'm gonna leave that there. Uh, and that's all I have in here. This is where I would have the HDMI if I didn't unplug that from the TV, but I didn't. Uh, it does have a uh, double zipper here. Very simple. Uh, and the lighting is probably very bad. The, the double zipper here. Which, if you open this around, I, I kind of would have almost preferred um, a straight across zipper, but I understand why they did this. Um, so let me move that back there. So this is how it opens. Opens like this. Sorry about that. Let me just move this a little bit. Okay. So it opens like this. Uh, let's gonna fold this back here. So in here, and you might notice, well, you have a case. I have a second case, which you can't really see because the lighting. I have a second case here, uh, which I will, this is my switch, which I'll show in a second. Um, but this is where the switch would go here. If you did not have a case, um, the switch would normally fit in here. And I put it in here, it fits in here fine. There's a little bit of room. So if you have like an, uh, a grip on there, which I do, and I'll show you in a second, actually. So this is the case I have normally. This is just the switch. So if I open this up, um, I do not have the grip on here right now. Um, the grip, let me show you the grip. I actually think misplaced it right now. <laughs> The grip just adds a little bit of a nubbins back here, but that would fit easily in here because, you know, it shows you this goes in here. Um, there's room, you know, there's room to go this way and, you know, there's room this way as well. You could probably fit a whole other switch in here. Um, you can easily fit my whole hand in there. Um, so if you had a grip or something that went on here that made it a little fatter, I don't think that would be a problem to, to fit. There's plenty of room in here for this to fit. Um, there is not quite enough room um, for, and I'm having trouble getting it out because I have too much stuff jammed in here. Um, there's not quite enough room. Um, what did I get caught on? I think it was because of this. These in front here. But anyway, um, that didn't happen before. I think it's just because I had everything jammed in there. Um, this did. This would fit easily, you know. As I said so far, I have it in here for now, just, you know, reasons. So, if you didn't have this, 
and you just had the um, the switch in here, then you would have easily room room in here for two controllers. Right now, we only have one controller here in the front. So this is a non-pro controller, obviously. But the pro controller is the same size. That would fit right in here in the front. I also have in the front here the shoulder strap, which I'm not using, but it fits nicely in this little corner. I also have the charging cable for the controller. This is a little divider that I'm assuming um, goes here. I think it goes here. And there's Velcro here and also on the other side. So I assume this would go here if you needed to divide something delicate, which I do not use, but I keep flat inside. There is a little um, strap here if you need a uh, strap. Um, the, uh, obviously the dock. The dock is here. So I'll take that out as well. So the dock fits in there easily as well. And then I have the obvious um, straps for the Joy-Cons. Um, if you had other Joy-Cons or extra Joy-Cons, I imagine these would fit in here. Or you could put them in here or have them down along here. This is actually pretty deep. So I could easily see if you were using this for your Switch, you could have two Pro Controllers. Because this is here and then this is halfway and you could easily have a second one here. You could have two controllers and your Joy-Cons or extra Joy-Cons in here. There's slots for games, but I don't, I'm mostly digital, so I don't have many physical games. Um, yeah, I mean, it fits holds everything I need. The only thing I don't have in is the HDMI, obviously, so it fits all this. Um, you know, and everything fit great. Um, it would, have been, it would have been interesting if they had maybe a different color scheme. Like, I have a gray switch, so this is great because it fits gray-gray. It would have been interesting if maybe they had, like, a, a blue and red one, if you had a blue and red switch. But that doesn't matter to me at all. Uh, five stars for me because this is exactly what I wanted. And it doesn't look like a switch bag, you know? With, with, with that, without this logo, it wouldn't, you wouldn't know it was a switch product at all. You know, so if you were self-conscious about this, you could just carry it where this was against you and this was facing outside, you know? Um, so yeah, this is great and I'm very happy with it. And like I said, you can fit quite a bit of stuff in here. I just have this in the corner. There's even a little, little bit of space here when you have the dock in. I don't know what you can put there. Uh, there's a little bit of a, of a slack here. It's not like um, forced or anything. So you could put something fairly long and flat here. Don't know what you would, but you know, like for me, like I said, this fits right in there without pushing on the dock, without pushing on the control. The control has plenty of room, you know, plenty of space. I could even put something else behind here, you know. Um, like I said, I have those in the in, in, in the, the mesh. I could probably even stick these in here if I wanted, you know, in the in the in game holders. Uh, I think these go, well, maybe not. It seems to be sewed on the bottom, which I guess is good. It won't slip out. But uh, yeah, A plus for me.